Hello, hello, hello. It is Susie Walker here from Psychologies Magazine. It is World Health Mental Health Day tomorrow, and I am delighted to be joined by Jeff Harris, who is the deputy editor of Amateur Photographer. Hello, Jeff. Hello, hello, hello. hello. I'm invited. Hello, Hi. I've invited Jeff to talk to us today because he is a huge um, advocate of mindful photography. And as you know, at Psychologies, we are very excited about the whole idea of creativity and mindfulness. And instead of, I mean, I am a great believer in um, meditation, Jeff. I love meditation, but also mm. because I'm a creative person, finding new ways of, of you know, bringing that mindful focus into our lives can be really really huge so tell us a little bit about why you think photography is good for our mental health okay um i think that there are a couple of things going on here i think having spoken to quite a few photographers who've actually um been dealing with mental health issues over the years i think probably the biggest benefit is the amount of focus and concentration that it actually takes to to take a good interesting picture and I think just that process <clears throat> of actually being involved in taking the picture be it on a smartphone or on the standard dedicated camera um, I think it helps to anchor people really in what's going on in the present. Um, yes. So they tend to be less distracted by their anxieties and concerns. And I think also um, often photography involves getting up early, so you get the nice light going to a beautiful spot even if you don't want to interact with other people um i think um just the process of going out and really um I'm having to to think about how you take a picture and putting all your focus and attention there can be really beneficial in lots of ways. I mean, there's two things there that um, occur to me, which is um, in in a psychology circle, there's something called the state of flow. Um, yeah. That, um, the, positive psychology movement um there's a, a guy and see if i can get his name right was uh cheek send me high and he is he talked about this idea of once you get into a state of flow um yeah. that nothing else matters um and it, it's a place where it it's a place where we are most happy so yeah. that's the first piece it almost feels like with photography when you're and the second thing i was going to say is consciously creating is like this is this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up a shot and I'm going to, you know, or I'm going to go. I mean, I, I don't know if you can see, I live on a canal boat and oh, okay. um, down just this week, this huge big heron just landed on my boat and it was amazing. Yeah, yeah. And I, I mean, it wasn't very conscious because I was like, oh, I'm just going to take a picture. But I mean, just the, the, the amount of wildlife around yeah. the canal yeah. boat. And so for me, I I would, I, thought to myself as you were talking mm, I wonder if I can create a project for myself around the bird and the wildlife I don't know if you can hear the birds now around yeah. the, the boat so my question is if we were going to create a project for our psychologies readers an amateur photographer with your stamp as deputy editor um, mm. project what 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 brief would you give us about how to create the most mindful project possible? Yeah, I think I think that's a really interesting question, and I think it's important to start talking about the um, distinction about photography it doesn't always have to be about recording some kind of objective out there reality. Photography can can also be about recording how you are feeling and how you are feeling about a particular 
object or subject which you are photographing be it a beautiful landscape or a bird or a person so i think an interesting starting point would be to ask psychologists readers to perhaps just go out this weekend and rather than thinking about just getting a kind of objective journalistic pictorial record of something focus on how you are feeling and yeah. how how it's possible to convey that through photography i love that idea so it's around almost by looking in the external world we're kind of putting a a lens onto our internal world our emotional world yeah so I, yeah yeah um i mean as an obvious example if people are feeling anxious and depressed they might end up taking quite bleak atmospheric moody black and white pictures for instance you know rather than really kind of optimistic vibrant colorful ones but i mean that's an obvious example and to be honest it's a bit of a cliche um there are lots and lots of different ways of conveying how people feel through the medium of photography whether they are using a smartphone or a dedicated yeah. camera yeah so i mean on on that note i think for me um i'm not a uh, an expert photographer at all um mm. and i sometimes get um how do we let go of our kind of performance anxiety around taking photographs? And is it okay just to start with a smartphone? Um, yeah. Um, we go, oh, we're going to get all the kit and stuff. No, where no, I no, no, no. Um, I mean, there is a very good expression in photography that the best camera you have is the one that is on you. And obviously, you know, just about everybody's always got their smartphone on for them and smartphones these days, the camera performance is outstanding. In terms of performance anxiety, um, that, that really sh shouldn't be an issue because it's a personal creative process. It's about how you as an individual are feeling and responding to your environment and um i don't see see that other people people would be involved in any kind of judging process on that and also we find that when people really put themselves into a, a photograph the images tend to be a lot stronger as a result anyway yeah i mean what i'm i'm loving what you're saying is you know in in my world we ha we have something called journaling which is all about writing you know stream of consciousness writing there's no it's not about writing a beautiful piece of writing it's just about getting it down connecting with your feelings so what i'm hearing is almost what we could do with with our smartphones this weekend is create our own project about i mean it could almost you know how okay you could check in and go okay how am i feeling what is a photograph that I can take that will reflect that feeling? And yeah. then maybe, maybe if you set your alarm to take a photograph every hour, for example, I'm not saying yeah. that this is it, but, and then over the space of the day, you might see that there's a bright picture, there's a dark picture, there's a an intricate, you know what I mean? And again, yeah. Around our mental health, for, for us at Psychology, it's very much is, it's not static. It goes up and down and up and down and roundabout and low. And then obviously what we say is if it's zero out of 10 for 10 days in a row, you need yeah. to seek help. You need to seek help. That, you know, there's help out there, and whether it's going to see your doctor, whether it's going to see a practitioner, but you don't have to feel low. You don't feel, but this way with photography and creativity may be a brilliant way of, being able to see how you're feeling yes i think absolutely and I, I i think it's also important to point out you don't have to go on a kind of big expedition to a 
beauty spa. I mean, for example, in our um, in our current issue, um, it's on sale till next Tuesday. Um, I interview a former uh, professional um, athlete who um, suffered a very rare spinal stroke about this time last year and yeah. is effectively paralyzed from the chest down and even um, though he's been confined quite a bit to hospitals and to treatment centers for example he's um, still been able to find find ways to really express himself through photography how inspiring yeah. is that? You know, just this idea. Yeah, of, you know, yeah, yeah. I think um, I think it's about just thinking about putting yourself into the photograph and thinking about trying to record how I feel today. Um, how am I interacting with the world and other people today? And often the results can be really interesting, actually. I, well, I mean, really, I mean, so one, it's so using the process of creating. Amazing. So that's, oh, I'm, I'm, go, I'm going in and out on my Wi-Fi, apologies. Um, but it's an amazing thing to be able to do that, which is so, you know, I love that idea. And, and as you say, we most of us have a smartphone and, you know, yeah. smartphones get a really bad rap, don't they? Because they take our attention. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Yeah. Be able yeah. to use this to actually turn it around and make it around our, to be consciously creative, to yeah. Mindful around it. I love this idea. It's such a great idea. Really, really good. Now, just yeah. hold up your cover again. Hold mm -hmm. up your cover for one second. Yeah, so, um, it says, I, uh, how um, my camera saved me, yeah. it's isn't it? Um, it's, the, it's the current issue. It's dated the 10th of October and it's on sale till Tuesday of next week. And also, we've got some very good subscription offers um i also just wanted to add that editing pictures after you've taken them can be a really Im important part of this process too um even on a smartphone there are lots and lots of really good editing apps um particularly free ones such as snapseed and these Snapseed. are snap seed um seed. yeah um snap seed is available for both ios and and google android and it's a really good editing app um because it also enables you to convert an image to black and white to add add different kinds of atmosphere um yeah. even to add text um, um, above pictures or even to combine pictures to produce some really interesting double exposure effects okay um, well, you could be creative in the editing process so it's not yeah, so and, about being present yeah, and mindful yeah, yeah. but afterwards also the way that you put it together or i mean let's say you're going to do your own photographic project for world mental health day yeah. so there's all there's that whether you're whether you're, as you say, sitting, unable to get out of a hospital room, or whether you're going to an amazing cliff and, and taking pictures of the sea or whatever it is, it, that's the first part. But the second part is then by the end of the day, being able to put that together as a project, you know, yeah. with, yeah. It, yeah. with a yeah. It's, um, yeah. It's, it's probably the easiest time in the whole of human history to be able to combine words and pictures and to be able to easily publish them and uh yeah uh don't get distracted by p 
performance anxiety. It's really, it really isn't about that at all. It's about personal expression, and there's no right or wrong around that. And also, photography is lots of things. It's an art. It's a science. It can be technical. It can be much more instinctive and informal and free flowing um there isn't one single right or wrong correct way to take a photograph well and what also i think sometimes with writing you know so i mean because i'm a writer right? i say oh everyone's got a journal it's so great you know oh you can figure out all your feelings through it but I think if you feel like, oh, well, I, I, I mean, loads of people say, oh, I can't write, I can't do it. So that's an immediate barrier. But I think because we're so used to taking photographs on our smartphones, it becomes, I just, I just, I can't tell you how much I love this idea of that we can use it as a, a self de self development tool, transformational tool. Um, so what I'd like to say to everybody is I'd like to invite everybody for World Mental Health Day to create your own project around give it a theme, give it a name, and then just to explore your own emotional landscape um, through through your through your digital phone. I mean, at Psychologies, we have a kind of uh, a photograph uh, competition every month. So um, what I would like to do is invite our readers to send that um, to, to to psychologies and as you know to, you know in light of this conversation for world mental health day and i'm sure jeff that we can send them to you as well can i send my photographs to you as well <laughs> yeah um I, i've just got a couple of tips to help people Thank you. Um, i think i think the biggest tip i would give to any photographer is to just slow down just just take time to think about what's going into the picture um check all the four corners of the frame before actually taking the picture and that way you can avoid background distractions or people photo bombing the picture or things getting yeah. there which you really don't want to get in there um also photography is about capturing light so th think about the best times of day to convey how you are feeling or what you want to express um you know dawn and dusk often the light is is quite golden and quite soft yeah while bang in the middle of the, the day particularly if it's a clear blue sky mm -hmm. you're gonna get yeah. hard shadows and hard contrast that isn't necessarily a bad thing if that is gonna help the message that you wish to communicate in the picture um so slow down think about light and don't be afraid to try different things different angles different compositions and um, um, often beginner photographers tend to get anchored just to a single spot and just shoot away compulsively um there's a very good expression in photography turn around always have a look behind you because often that can be a really good picture behind you as yeah. well and again it's a fantastic metaphor for you know finding a new perspective isn't it i mean this is in emotion, yeah. like, it's always trying to find a new angle or a new i mean i, I say that a lot. sometimes i can't get an angle on myself i say i need yeah. i need to get an angle myself because i'm lost in all my nonsense and you know so i think in a way photography is such a great metaphor for that um, yeah. jeff thank you so much for joining us today Tara um, 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 Editor of amateur photographer um right. a, a that's been around 1884 um 18, it's on sale now 
a great story about how photography saved us. Um, it's World Mental Health Day tomorrow, so why not go out tomorrow and create your own photography project around what it feels to be here right now, um, just come out of lockdown, just about to go yeah. into winter. Yeah. You know, it's really great. Jeff, thank you so much for your time no, today. No, that's fine. It's, it's been really, really nice to chat. Yeah, fantastic. Speak to you soon.